for this week here on the programme, we've been talking to people behind the camera, as you can hopefully see now. There you go. Give us a wave, lads. We have a team in the BBC Newsline studio uh, to make this programme happen every night. But we've been concentrating not so much on television, but on the local movie industry. And the focus tonight is what happens in front of the camera. Locations all around Northern Ireland are attracting movie makers from across the world. Earlier, Donna visited a location for a movie in County Down. We know from the likes of the TV programme Downton Abbey that the location can be just as much of a star as the cast. I'm here at Bally Walter Park, which has been the location for many TV dramas and films. And I'm here to talk to Lord Dunleasy, owner, to find out just what it's like when a movie crew lands on your doorstep. But first, Natasha Sayi reports on a booming time for local acting talent. Just a handful of some of Northern Ireland's finest film talent. So what does it take to make it big? Well, that's what they're trying to nail down at this talent workshop. A few mistakes. No idea, do you? No clue. Budding actors have a go, then analyse each other's work, and for some of them, it has been a springboard into the industry. I've just finished shooting uh, one of my first feature films. Finally, we're getting recognition. Um, working on the likes of the fall this year as well. Uh, most of the cast was taken from Belfast in Northern Ireland. Um, normally, we would always be competing with London, so that was lovely to see that the and normally to say that the main cast, because it's shot here in Belfast, were taken from, from local talent. So it's great to finally get recognised after putting in all the groundwork. Soap actress Karen Hassan also stars in the fall, the new crime drama from the BBC. As well as that, she's been treading the boards at the Lyric and, since moving home from England, is finding there's no shortage of work. Northern Ireland now seems to be flavour of the month. You know, I'm getting scripts through and auditions through and it's young Northern Irish actress or actor or set in Northern Ireland and, you know, they would have been very few and far between before. And um, I think now that uh, the, the film industry is improving so much in Northern Ireland, the rest of the industry seems to be flourishing. It's all opportunities for the cast, the crew and the actors like myself. The baby in one arm, the trophy in the other. Richard Dormer is a well-known actor on the local scene, but fantasy fans across the world will soon know him as the Lightning Lord in the upcoming season three of Game of Thrones. I've got an English accent on it, you know, but uh, it's just it's nice that there's some, you know, some of the really really good local talent, um, you know, are, are are finding their 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 place in these this one of the biggest uh, shows in the world. Okay, speeding and set and background action. We didn't really have a film industry this time ten years ago. There was just nothing being made and anything that was set in Belfast was being shot in Manchester because of the troubles. So um, it's just a whole new, whole new ball game. You don't have to be a professional actor to be part of the ball game. This company finds extras for films being shot here and they've had some unusual requests. We get a lot of requests for people who are comfortable with nudity for certain types of scenes and uh, for body doubles. I think um, men over six foot six um, <laughs> uh, has been quite a tough one to do as well. And then we'd get lots of different things for different types of skills, you know, so people that can... Um, you know, deal cards like in a casino. Oh, I, we find a butcher that could um, chop up a deer, like um, in you know 30 seconds. Um, so yeah, we get all sorts of strange requests every day. So there's plenty of opportunities if you think you fit the bill. Natasha Sai, BBC Newsline. This beautiful conservatory at Bally Walter Park took on the role of a field hospital in the latest movie to be recorded here. Now, handing over your home to dozens of technicians is not an easy decision to make. Earlier, I asked Lord Dunleith about his initial reaction when first approached by the movie makers. I think we were slightly nervous. I, I, I think this was, gosh, probably 15 or so years ago, back in 1997, for a film called Divorcing Jack, which was being made for the, the BBC, although it was a, a film for the cinema. Um, and we didn't really know quite what was, was going to happen. Uh, however, what we did know was that the locations manager for it was somebody 
that we knew and we liked, and I think that gave us a certain amount of confidence to open our doors. But in a home like this with such historical importance, are you not concerned that something will be damaged? What we do before the production company moves in, we bring in our own team and we move all the sort of small, smaller items, um, for want of a better word, the knick-knacks out of the way uh, before the, um, the art department come in and then start to, to dress the sets. I mean, they, they're very good. They let us know which pieces of furniture and which objects, plants or whatever they want to use, and then we just make sure everything else is, is out of the way. Um, on one occasion, we had 90 people in one bedroom, I counted, when one scene was being, um, one scene was being shot. Uh, but no, I mean, film production companies are, are professional people. They have a job to do. Um, they, don't go out, they don't go out of their way to make things um, awkward for one. The place where Downton Abbey, the drama, was based has now become a visitor attraction. Would you welcome such attention for Ballywalter Park? Well, I think it would be very exciting. I mean, Highclere, to give it its real name, the, the home of um, Georgie Carnarvon and his wife, um, has become very famous um, as, as a, a destination. So, indeed, as Castle Howard. Um, but in those productions, the, um, the house is, um, to a certain extent, you know, one of the main leading stars in the production. Um, Ballywalter, by and, and large, has been more used for the rooms which have been used to provide settings of other places. It ha the house hasn't, um, to date anyway, uh, starred in its own right. But um, let's bring it on.